university, over 60% of students are enrolled in classes where there's a reasonable expectation that they're going to have to write academic essays as evidence of their ability to produce sophisticated material appropriate to their courses. Yet there's a proliferation of research to suggest that university level students are underprepared for these demands of academic writing. So students sit, stare at their blank screen, an essay to write, stuff begins to appear on their brow as they are filled with anxiety and stress, neither emotion which is particularly conducive to producing coherent, creative, or critical prose. And I know children who grow into men, and I know children who grow into women, and it's not their fault that they've not been taught how to structure a logically progressive thought. And so I've co-created a tool called Essay Jack to help compensate for what they might lack. It gives them the basic scaffolding and form for which an academic essay must conform. It gives them confidence as they help to build their draft so that they can find new nuance as they hone their craft. I am an educator and a friend, a teacher to the very end. It is important, we heard this from the last very good talk, it is important to be able to give students the tools and the skills to create the appropriate framework and structure, for only then can they break free out of that structure and unleash their full creative and critical potential. Now, when I was an English educator, I used to tell my students, look, when you are gone from my class and years down the road, you are off living your life, I don't mind if you forget the plot or theme of Hamlet. But if you can't analyze the world around you, if you can't pick apart an ad, if you can't participate in politics, if you can't engage in society, then then I think I'll have failed you. So in all of these stories, be it being able to analyze media and embrace knowledge as power, whether it is combining the mind and the body through sports and academics, through unleashing an inner creative artist, or by knowing the skills and tools for appropriate scholarly communication, I think as educators, we have this tremendous privilege to help students to light the fires of their own critical and creative sparks. And if we can do that, not only will they warm themselves for the rest of their lives, but they will then be able to share that spark and let it burn into a fire that will jump from one to the next to the next. And that is a brightness and the power that I long to see. Thank you.